In the future, this is what making a beef burger might look like. Taking cells from a piece of cow and letting them multiply into cultured meat. This university professor says he can grow 10,000 kilograms of meat from just one piece of muscle. And he says we better get used to it. That in effect means that we can reduce the number of cows worldwide from one and a half billion to maybe 10,000. Um, and then we won't have the methane emission, we won't have all the resources that go into a cow because a cow is a terribly inefficient animal. So um, this process is going to be more efficient um, so that it uses less resources um, and it's not as polluting. And you can let the cow live. As the world's population increases, the demand on food supplies will also grow dramatically. Meat production takes up 8% of the world's water, huge amount of land and contributes almost a fifth of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. The average European eats about 80 kilos of meat a year. That's about 400 of these burgers. But what if, in a few years from now, a burger grown in a lab will taste exactly the same and be the exact same price as the ones here? Which one will a consumer choose? This woman is one of the world's leading food scientists. She believes that what we might find unpalatable today might be normal for the next generation. I mean, there, there are many things people have learned to eat uh, that their grandmothers didn't eat. Certain fruits and vegetables, but also certain types of fish that people didn't know about. Or, or snails, for example, uh, that many people did not eat apart from the French. So um, I think it's a, it's a fallacy to think that, that food habits are uh, immobile in time. In fact, we eat quite different things from our grandparents' generation. Back at the burger restaurant, the manager has mixed emotions. He worries about the damage too much meat does to the planet. But he's also suspicious of the idea of eating lab meat. Sounds a little artificial, like eating plastic or something. Even though you say that, that they, they have the exact same taste. But well, for now it's one step too far. I, I cannot think of me eating that. Yeah. Science means that the cells of just one cow could provide enough meat for the whole of Europe. The first lab burgers are expected to be on the market within three years. But even if science could solve the massive issues caused by our meat industry, the question remains, will we eat it? Fleur Launsbach, Al Jazeera, The Netherlands.